In looking for Pythagoras investigation one, problem 1.3, the idea is that we want to be able to find the area of any shape. And so we have some different shapes in this problem. And an area is the number of squares or the number of square units a shape covers. So in the first problem, the idea is if you look at this, we have one and then two squares covered. Area is the amount of space or area covered by something or a shape. And so in this case if you look at the number of square units this would be two square units or units whatever they are squared. We could write it like that. We could write two square units they were centimeters or if they were feet or whatever the units are we do that so two square units we look at the second one here we have a whole square and then we have another half of a square and so the total is one and a half square units we have to use the little square term because we're talking about area. If I just said units, it would be as if it were, were a length. And so area is always in square units because we're actually, again, talking about how many squares a particular shape covers. So we'll do a couple more of these just to get you going on this particular lesson if you're trying to understand what we want to do in here. So again, I'm looking at this shape and I'm trying to figure out the number of whole squares that would be covered by this shape. Now, you may not have thought about it this way, but if you think about this shape, it's a triangle. It's really two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, and they're actually the same size triangles. And, and I actually could take this triangle and I could put it right into that space right there. So if you think about, if I took this triangle and put it into that space right there, then the number of squares it would cover would actually be two whole squares. So each half of this is one square unit and this is one square unit. So together they make two square units. So there's another way to write square units. You can abbreviate square and put it that way. So again, we can take this piece and stick it in there and think of this is really half of two, so it's one. The two of them together actually make two whole squares. So I'll do one more here, again, just to get you moving along, like more challenging in some ways. But one of the things to remember as you're trying to do this is that a triangle is half of a rectangle or square. So that, that part right there is half of a square because it's half of the piece. So there's a half a piece there and then we have another half piece down here and then we have another whole square and a whole square and a whole square. So if we put all those together one, two, three and then the two halves make one whole. So number four the area is four square units or four units squared say it multiple ways. So since we have a little bit of time here, this is a fairly short lesson and getting you started, do one more. And this one I like to break up again into triangles and so sometimes it's easier if you break them up into pieces. And again you can see that here I have a half of a square and another half of a square and this piece here is half of that rectangle of two. It's actually the same size as this one. So again, like I did in number three, they're really the same size as the triangles in number three, the pieces. Take this piece and put it on there, or think of them individually as half of two. So there's a whole square covered by that one and another whole square covered by that piece. And if I put all these pieces together, one, two, and the other two halves make three square units is the area of that shaded area. And so that gives you an idea of 
how to find the area of the shaded shapes. Some of them get a little bit more challenging as you move further on through the um, problem. But again, the idea is if you can cut them up into pieces, figure out the individual pieces and put them together, then that might be a way to help you find the area of all these different shapes.